Border Patrol officials, along with U.S. Senator Ted Cruz, addressing the threats migrants and agents face along the most dangerous sector for illegal crossings. Our Diana Guzman got a first-hand look on what happens daily along our border. With 12 deaths in a single week and nearly 700 rescues in fiscal year 2019, Border Patrol agents have a clear message for immigrants. Please don't put yourself in a different or a, a dangerous situation. Today, a group of reporters walked a mile in triple-digit temperatures along the brush, getting a first-hand look on what migrants and agents experience daily. Every year, thousands of migrants succumb to the harsh border environment. You started to see what it was like after being out here for about an hour. Uh, increased breathing, the sweating, the need for water, and that's that you were on an established road. What happens if you're off in a brush out here somewhere? You become disoriented. Uh, they leave you behind, especially when you don't have cell phone coverage. From rescuing herd agents to helping dehydrated migrants, Border Patrol agents are there to help. According to Border Patrol Chief Rodolfo Karish, agents make 30 hospital runs a day helping migrants, adding they help a woman give birth every day. Mumps to TB uh, to scabies, you name it, our agents are seeing it. But every day we deal with it. We have three stages of medical screening that happen right now. Uh, initially in the field when they're first encountered by Border Patrol agents, when they actually make it to our facilities where either doctors or nurse practitioners do it, and then after when they're getting ready to be released. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz also getting a look of the issues along the border, calling it a crisis, stating the only way to stop the exploitation of children is for Congress to close the loopholes in the system. The reason for that, the fault of that is the U.S. Congress because we have told the traffickers, the human traffickers, we've told the drug traffickers, if you bring a child, that child is essentially a get-out-of-jail-free car. Border Patrol officials say with the temperature getting hotter, the sector is expected to start seeing more deaths of migrants. In Ansaldúas, I'm Joanna Guzman, Local 23 News. According to BP officials, in 2014, 1% of the adult men crossing illegally had a child. That number has now increased by 50%.